Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Skulk. We all came to the door from the end of the last episode, to the final right, and somehow, Slug Market Man came in. Does he have a free pass? <laughs> hey, guys. I know, I so, just so you're all aware at all, I know how come you're here. How come you made it all the way up here? Oh, I know, all right. You're here because I got the lowest prices in the downside, am I right? And some of the new stuff I got in stock, you're gonna get a lot of value there. An awful lot. <laughs> Scribe Snuff. Uh, uh, unlearn any masteries and choose again. Though that sounds very useful, there's no one that I, I ever regret getting. But... But... I'm getting all this stuff. Handful of dust. Handful of dust. Yes. Wait, that was a one. Three. And two. Mmm. -hmm. Fancy, tasty stuff. I don't have... I still have a decent amount of stuff because it's so cheap. There's actually nothing in here that I'm really looking at. I mean, start of the right, the bearer's pyre automatically gains some more health, but I'd rather heal more. Even though this is just straight up, you have more. Alright, I feel like that's all I really need. Thank you so much for that Stardust. And the Telewashe? See you guys again sometime soon, maybe, okay? Because, I gotta say, you're my favorite customers I had all week. Maybe you... Nah. He's been a good guy the whole time. He's been a good, a good salesman. I was about to do the lisp thing. Hmm. What can we superpower in here? This is Sir Gilman's. Wow, Sir Gilman shot up in experience when I did all that stuff. I want to play with Tizo, but I'm going to be using my main people in the rights because. Seriously. This is really, really good. I really like this thing. How much will it go? 33% chance with a, with a 1, with a 2, 36, and of course a 39. Having lots of this points on this, it seems like it goes up 3% uh, every time. That means 369, 1215, 18. Almost a 50% chance. Half, uh, a little, tiny percent uh, less than half the time you respond. And with the hope going higher and higher, 28 hope, 12 hope, 25. So if I gave it to her, though this is her talisman, if I gave her this, she can return rather quickly if I put all this stuff on the moon crest. For him, this is actually really nice, being able to do a bit more damage. For this, he has to heal the team if he gets through. For her, I mean, this is great. This is grand to be able to snipe shot someone. And if I keep upgrading this one specific thing, hopefully she uh, won't get knocked out easily. Because if she gets knocked out, it takes a while to bring back. Or have Headwind saying, oh, let's see this. Headwind and his allies may instantly return banished. Uh, and his allies may return banished allies by moving to where they fell. So in that case, Edwin and his allies regenerate stamina twice as fast. Mm-hmm. Why is it sometimes double click when I do that? Anyways. Um so if I did upgrade this with all this dust, she would let's see it with a three. It would go up to thirty percent faster and longer. Looks goes by three every time, so again, eighteen. So it'll be 39% faster and longer. Hmm. 
That's really good. But I can give her quickness. And she can move around a lot. With three going on this, it goes up to four quickness. And with everyone's quickness, his 16. No. He has 18. She is 6. He's 12. If I got this to 4, perhaps 5, with all this talisman upgrading stuff, then she can actually move around a lot faster. It's not like Hedwin's the really, uh, like, really fast, but at least he can move. So giving her a fast, a uh, fast, um, talisman, she can get around. So I feel like that's what I want to do. Still for quickness. So I could test it. I could test to put this on and hope that it turns out to be five. If not, then it'd be a waste. Because it doesn't show you what its leveling up would be. So right now, if I did add one more point to it, she'd have 11 quickness while he has 12. Hmm. Still only four. I'm feeling like three points, though I should not have actually given, uh, used the three on it immediately, because that would have put them together to see the future of what it would actually do. Then I can do a um, total of 20 points of damage with him. Storing the pyre with seven health. Still six, so it needs to be the two for that one. Returning immediately would be very, very nice. Healing my pyre would be grand. But returning immediately would be very helpful. So you have 30% chance or 40% chance. Mm. Better chance to revive. I got it. Alright, so you are the team person. If you get knocked out, you have a chance of bring, uh, coming back quicker. But, if, uh, but while you're on the team, if you get knocked out, you can be brought back. So let's go with this. Now, even though I would like to do more damage, I feel like since he can get to the uh, exit really quick, he can restore our uh, team's health. So let's go with that on their team. Whew. Here we go, guys. Commence deliberation right. Is everyone prepared, Hedwin? Yes. Though several of us have another question that's been troubling us. You need but ask. You said that one of us is going to return to the Commonwealth if we defeat the tempers in the right this night. What happens if we fail? Not a terrible Hedwig, my boy, don't you see? The path of the freedom and the path to enlightenment are one and the same. Do you intend to stray from the path? Sir. No. Then, you have nothing to fear. But let me be much more upfront with you. Should you be defeated by the Tempers this night, then one of them shall end up going free, instead of one of you. If that is as simple as that. What, then, is to be done? The very same as we... The very same as if we achieve victory. We wait and uh, we wait, await our next such opportunity, and make the most of it. Tonight, our plan is to is set in motion. We are united in our cause. We shall look as ever forward the stars for guidance, and seize upon our future chances, just as they just as they arise. So look up, my boy. And set aside your doubts. It is time to take great strides along the path. So it's not mainly over if we fail. We just have to wait again before 
the, the rights are ready for us. But we need to have to go through it all again, maybe. And we'll continue, regardless of the outcome. I didn't get to read all that, Many but I will get it. Many years have passed since last the Nightwings gained the summit of the Sacred Mountain and stood upon the fall of Solium. You are to be commended for your guidance, reader. But only if you can prevail in this liberation rite. Here you stand to gain much more than some enlightenment. Your adversaries are none other than the Tempers. I trust they need no introduction. Soon, one among you shall regain their freedom. The pyres burn, and each of the triumvirates, I can still hear how I figured out that word, is presented and prepared. Is present and prepared. I concur. The pyres burn, and each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. Then, anointed one of the tempers, come forth now and declare yourself and pay any respects you have unto your adversaries, the Nightwings. A massive demon swaggers into view. He reaches for his mask. Holy Elvis! You know who I am already. But look at what we got here. The danged Nightwings decided to show up. Almost figured we were never gonna see that day again. He takes notice of someone in your ranks. Hey, you. He indicates J Jadaria. She scoffs back at him. Loose the mask. Ain't Ain't seen one of our own in ages. Not in these dang robes. Jadariel's hesitation is almost unpredictable before she moves to remove her mask, just as her adversary asked. Satisfied. Whoa. You must be new. Jadariel puts her mask back on. Enough talk. I like you, curly horns. Tell you what, once you put on, uh, put out, uh, once you put out your lights, you come along with these guys. You're gonna have a spot open. Now we're gonna have a spot open. Only shame is I ain't gotta be around to show you a good time. I should rather cut out my tongue. Oh, you don't mean that. Our kind. We all stick together. Now, come on. Aeneas throws his mask back on his head, snarl the rest of it. Have the Nightwings reached a decision on whose behalf they shall conduct the rites? Lone Minstrel gets your attention in a subtle way. Reader, this is it. The first companion whom you choose shall be anointed to go free this very night, if you prevail. The other two in the triumvirate shall lend their aid. As you may know, only the most enlightened in the rites are eligible to go free. Not all among you may be ready yet. Now, Nightlings, I would let I would have your decision. First chosen. Who most deserves their freedom? You stink. Not Jadariel. The whole freaking thing. So they only have two abilities too. He has the briefly stunning jump, and after uh, his using his rush lunge, he can rush right away again. He has nothing, and he has nothing. So they have a uh, worm. Lady River, and wait, yeah, Lady River and Fermenta. Well, since the name right, being a goop trail, you have at the start of the right the bear's pyre automatically gains thirty. Oh, you have that. You have more presence, and you have more presence. 
Gosh darn it, Santa Claus met, met, met you, apparently. Or your parents got you to do that if you're a But yeah. <sighs> Seriously, this is mean. Unworthy. Anoint. Unworthy. Unworthy. Anoint. So I can only choose, with the three that I'm putting in, is Ruki or Jodarin. Why is he unworthy? What did he not do that makes him enlightened? Heads, green tails. Jodariel it is. Jodariel. Uh. Me? Why? Then, the gate guardians look uh, looks upon you and your adversaries. Eradita. Very well. Then, under the watch of the eight scribes, here are the taps, uh, stakes of the Eve's liberation rite. Should the night wings prevail, the one called Jodario shall be liberated. Should the tempers prevail, the, ex uh, the exile Ignorius shall go free instead. She then turns to me. Now, who among the night wings shall compete, uh, complete your triumvirate to strive along Jodario and see her to uh, and see her return in glory? Who shall stand with her? Edwin! Sounds good. Now let's bring Jodariel home. Ruki. Eh, sure. No pressure, right, chum? It is done. Very well. The eight scribes accept your choices. Reader of the Nightwings. He, she then indicates to the lonesome minstrel. Now, are you yourself prepared, Tariq? Aye, Celeste. Then let us all begin. Night wings. Been waiting an awful long time to get out of this hole. Try and stop me. Holy! Commence! Ooh, music. No. Oh, no. Okay. Grab it. Toss it. First strike. And Jodariel takes away his bonus. But it still takes us that long. Into the pyre and into the great divine. Ha <laughs> ha you sneak sneak! No! Kuya! Go ahead with The healer. Oh wait no, he's doing something else. No. Aha! So far we're doing grand. Just a little bit more. Unless they pull off something like this. You good for nothing night wings. Skip out on us for years and years. And show up all of a sudden like you're gonna let someone out for once. But now we gotta work for it, I guess. Dang it. I used to be the best. At le at this, at least. But now Pressure's going to me. I can't believe it's gone getting to me. Ah, Moria. I doubt you'd even recognize me anyway. Come on, Nightwings. Let's see you keep this up. Here we 
Yo Hanyan yo Shoga! Yo Hoi! No, 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 no. Walk right in. One more strike. Alright, Edwin. Oh, yep! Oh, no! Oh, come on! You were right there! No, 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 no! Ooh! It's the snake that keeps getting and getting to me. Oh, 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 oh! No, not the slime. Nope! Ho, ho! Rookie! Pass it on! You walked away. You walked away. The night wings proved their worth. As for their adversaries, they did not. Thus ends the liberation rite. And thus the scribes have chosen. The exile appointed by the Nightwings shall be free. Absolved of all misdeeds, return to glory in the Commonwealth. Her adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. Oh, what a joke. We should have had this. You should have had this. You got all rusty. You've been waiting so dang long. Dang it. Dang it! Nightwings! Be seeing you around, I guess. And next time, you ain't gonna be so lucky. Hey, Joe Doyle has a horn item. Had a horn item on her. Is that part of this horn? After all this time, she turns her gaze towards the rest of you. I never thought this day would come. I have all of you to thank for this, for doing this for me. The life that I recall back in the Commonwealth was at times difficult, and I am much older now. I know not what I shall find on my return. However, I know this. If that place still is like the Commonwealth I left so long ago, then I shall strive to make it better for as long as I retain my strength and breath. You see her smile faintly as she disappears into the shimmering pool, though you still can hear her voice. Though faintly now. Farewell, then, reader. All of you, for now. Daryl earned her freedom. Daryl is set to return to the Commonwealth and leave the downside forever. May she return in glory. Godspeed, Captain Jodariel. The eight scribes are ever merciful. By their grace, the cycle of the rites may soon commence again. I'm guessing this story continues until everyone is free. Maybe. If so, we have more game to see. Until the turning of the stars. Farewell. Do we have to go through every one of the rites again? Do we? After your victory over the tempers in the liberation rite, you return to your wagon to decide how to uh, proceed from here. I don't know what I'm going to do without her here. Well, look at on the bright side. It's one less mouth to feed. We'll see Jodario again if we persevere. Our journey's now begun in earnest. We'll just need to make a few less preparations while we're here. What about the stars? 
Can we afford the time? About that, reader. About that, reader. Go see for yourself. The night sky over Mount Olodale is much darker than you would have expected. Your thoughts are of with Jodario as if you look towards the heavens. Not as if you as you did. I don't yeah. is one big you search and search the sky but in vain no stars shine now oh so it wasn't like a hidden star the stars revealed nothing did they not you confirm his suspicions it's as the book foretells this is the chance we need to make ready for what lies ahead there's a heaven, uh, there's a haven south of here we'll travel to at dawn. And when the stars decide to shine for us again, we'll be ready. Mark my words. We'll have this little talkie too, and then we'll end the city off. Hmm. Uh, hmm. You find Hedwin on his own after Joe Dario's liberation. You sense straight away that uh, what is on his mind. The two of them were close through much of his life. He looks up at you, but his familiar smile is nowhere to be found. I'm sorry, my friend. I should be in a much, much better mood by now. It's just... I can't believe she's gone. Then he shakes his head. Listen to me. I'm talking like she's... He falls silent again. You can tell he needs some time for himself right now. And turns to leave. Wait. Hold on. Don't leave me here just yet. First of all, my friend. Thank you. I don't think... I don't like to think of it as quite... In quite these terms. But... Out of all, out of, out of all of us, I really hoped she'd managed to get out of here. She's been here the longest. Not to mention, I'd probably be dead ten times over by now if not for her. What's more, maybe other than Volford himself, I have a feeling she's really going to make an impact on this plan of ours, back on the other side. Just the same, though. I'm going to miss her. Same thing as if a loved one that you care about is passed on. They're in heaven or wherever they would be. We'll just call it heaven because that's what people in the round in the world have been using it. And if I were to pass on, everyone I love would uh, I would want them to be still happy. I'm, I would be happy to hear that uh, that they miss me. Because if they didn't, then I'd be like, I guess I didn't make much of an impact on their lives. But knowing that they are happy and miss me, I want them to stay happy. So, if someone I care about is gone, but not passed on, you just miss them. You're happy for them, but you miss them. And she was his longest friend. You and Hedwin share some memories of Joe Dario for a time, though it grows clear to you that he needs some time alone. Thanks again, my friend. I hope that one day all of us can meet again. Jody, she, she'd be happy on that day, I bet. It is very late now. You part ways after bidding each other a good evening. I feel like this game has, has shown all those tabs. I feel like we have to go through the right a couple more times until everyone is free. 
Though eventually, it's going to be two to one people left. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. So you go through the rights. What this game holds for in the future? We finally got to the last right, but what happens next? Do we continue doing the rights over and over again? I'm rolling more and more of the story. Go to the zone. There's one tab, and there's uh, like one tab glowing with this story. Books usually hold a lot of more chapters than this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I count that right? Yeah, eight more tabs. And if each tab is not just aesthetics, I feel like we have a long way to go. So with that being said, thank you guys for stopping by. And until I see you again, have a great day, everyone.